Thank you so much for tuning in to the Awakening with Katina Love and segmented on Inspiration Sunday. The Awakening with Katina Love show is a conscious talk show to learn about self-empowerment, the law of attraction, creating financial abundance, and natural health. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Awakening with Katina Love, where there are over 70 shows to download for your listening pleasure. Our special guest today is Deborah Mittler. She is a soul alignment, spiritual mentor, intuitive healer, writer, speaker, and teacher. Her website is livinginthelovin.com. Today we're going to talk about what led Deborah to her spiritual path and how she awakened to her true life's purpose. Deborah, thank you so much for joining us on Awakening with Katina Love. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on today. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. So what led you to your path? <laughs> well, I've, <laughs> I've had a really interesting journey. I, I never felt like I belonged in this world. I, I kind of grew up kind of looking at everybody as they were crazy. And, mm-hmm. and you know, my family pretty much treated me like I was crazy because I had, I had different ideas per se than what uh, my parents wanted me to be. And every time I got excited about something, they tell me to calm down every time. Yeah. I had a feeling, a sad feeling, a happy feeling, whatever it was like wrong. And mm-hmm. pretty much, pretty much I started just suppressing all my feelings. And, and then at age 13, my doctor told me to go on a diet and I took it literally and I became anorexic. And then at age 15, I entered my first hospital for anorexia. And then for the next 23 years of my life, I was in and out of hospitals and treatment centers for anorexia, for suicide attempts, taking pills. I was just hating myself. I hated being here. I didn't mm-hmm. feel like I fit in. I couldn't relate to people in this world. And, and I just like wanted to be me and I couldn't. So it's like, mm-hmm. if I can't be me, who can I, you know, how can I really live in this world? Um, so I was, like I said, I was in and out of hospitals and treatment centers for over 23 years and Mm -hmm. nothing seemed to work. I would gain weight in there and then lose it when I left because they never really helped me work with the underlying issues that were creating the eating disorder. So when I went back into the world where I didn't feel safe, I gravitated right back towards eating disorder behaviors or taking pills to numb myself or suicide attempts because I, I couldn't. I couldn't cope. I, I didn't know how to mm-hmm. be with myself. I and, see. Um, yeah. And every doctor, every treatment center gave up on me. They labeled me acute anorexic, which, which anorexia has the highest mortality rate of any mental illness. And I'm wow. pretty miracle. Yeah. Every doctor said, you're not going to make it. You know, we can't help you. You've been sick too long, blah, 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 blah. All the, all the things doctors kind of <laughs> tell <laughs> us. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just really kind of gave up. Right? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. So when was that moment where you said, okay, enough is enough. I'm done with this. I'm well, going to, I'm going to be myself. Yeah, it, it, it was kind of, I was kind of for, in a way forced into it, but not, I think it was my soul's decision. Mm-hmm. But um, my last treatment center, the, the doctor called me, the main guy called me into his office and told me that I had to leave. I weighed 80 pounds. He said, we couldn't help wow. you. We didn't want to take you in the beginning, giving your history, no hospital's been able to help you. And we just can't help you, you know? And I, my mom wouldn't let me come home and I didn't, I had nowhere to go. And my sister let me stay at her house for a couple of weeks. And then I, my mom finally gave in and let me come home. And I had, I started going to 12 step meetings and I met a girl who became my sponsor and she gave me the book, the power of intention by Wayne Dyer. Wow. Yeah. I love him. Yeah, isn't he amazing? He is. He's still like, accessible. Even though he's gone, he's still ac- accessible to us, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. definitely. It's so beautiful, too, because his teachings are just so amazing, especially for beginners on this path, you know? Mm, yeah. Um, it just kind of, like, woke me up. I'm like, oh, wow, there's there's something inside of me that's waking up. And that was in, I want to say, 2003. Mm-hmm. And... Um, since then it's been an interesting journey (laughs) wow Um, yeah yeah so now I'm like I'm I'm totally it's totally night and day you know it's um I I've done a lot of healing not to say that it's not done you know right healing and growing it's a journey right it's a journey 
exactly. Ongoing. Ongoing. Um, yeah. Uh, the difference today is I don't beat myself up and, um, I'm more loving with myself when I notice issues arise or when I'm being hard on myself and I want to achieve something instead of just giving up. I, I, you know, I sit with myself. I'm like, Hey, what's going on here? You know, yeah. and I look at the beliefs or anything else that's, that's going on inside of me. I might be just scared because of something new and just, I've really learned how to be a loving mother to myself. Yes. Um, so important. Isn't it's it? so important. It's so important. I think for all of us to learn that because we're not taught that. Um, right. To, <laughs> to have that love. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. We're like taught, hey, stupid kid, shut up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell you what attracted me to you on Facebook. You post all these wonderful, loving messages to mm -hmm. uplift people. And, and that's really what caused me to reach out to you. I mean, because... I mean, your messages are very healing, very soothing, very uplifting. So I want to thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. It's, it's, it's my joy. It's like being able to share the love that comes from inside of me is, mm -hmm. it's what, it, it, it's like you can't keep what you don't give away. Have you ever heard that expression? Yeah. Um, so it's just like being in this vibration is so beautiful. And that's kind of my mission just to, to help people through the vibration, you know, of course, through my healing and what I do um, with clients, but the same token, why should I just limit it just to clients? Why can't I just do it all day, every day, wherever I go and whatever inspiration flows through me? And I've opened myself so much to spirit that it just comes natural. It just flows. And it's just, it's just a beautiful way to be, you know? It is. <laughs> and you said that perfect word, be. Yes, it's, just, exactly. it's a state of being. It, it really is. It is. It, it's, and it's just, you know, and it does take it. It's not a walk in the park to get here, you know. It's, right. So 2003, I pretty much started going deeper, and it's just been recently. What are we in 2017? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm finally feeling this, like, like my true self. I feel like my true self. You know. Wow, that's um, beautiful. Yeah, that so. is so beautiful. You mind if I ask, who are your other teachers? I know you mentioned Wayne Dyer. Are there any others who helped you on this path? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've listened to many on YouTube. Right now, I'm a big fan of Brendan Burchard. Have you heard of him? Um, I don't think so. Oh, now I'm, I'm kind of, I just kind of, wherever it's so funny, I just kind of go to YouTube. I'm like, okay, yeah. so, and I get guided to like people I've never even heard of. And I know. Apparently he's huge. I didn't even know that. So it's kind of like, okay, we get what we get. But um, I love Alan Watts because he really, he's really more of the essence of our being more mm -hmm. than the whole physical manifestation manifest, blah, 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 which really disconnects us because we're more focused on the outer than really connecting back to ourselves. So okay. I love Alan Watts. Um, Alan Watts, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. And um, let's see, who else do I listen to? Um, God, I can't even think off it. I just like drew a blank. But uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, it's pretty much what oh, I love Till Swan and, mm -hmm. and Matt Kahn and let's see who else. Barbara Ma Ma I, I don't know if I'm gonna say her right now. Marshanek. Have you heard of her? Marshanek? I think I have. Yeah, she is real I, I just started reading her stuff and um it's really I mean all these teachers, you know, it's yeah, like Yeah, there's so many. That are there here are. to assist us, right? There are. And I'll just go in a bookstore. I, I love doing that because it's like, you know, so many times we're so, so focused on like focusing, like, I mean, we're so focused on who's the best, whatever, most popular spiritual teacher. But I mm -hmm. find amazing books when I'm just guided to whatever. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's good. To, it's good to be that way because we have many teachers. It's not just one or two. God works through everybody too. If it we really just does. The funny thing is because we're so critical of like people and seeing like, oh, that message can't come through them. But I remember walking in the mall and mm -hmm. I passed a homeless guy and, and something inside, he was like, he wasn't really asking for money, but something inside of me told me to go back and give him some money. So I went back and give him some money and he was the most beautiful soul I've ever met. He started teaching wow. me 
wow. the elements of earth and how things work. And it was just like, I got like the best sermon from him than I have from any spiritual teacher I know. Wow. Isn't that something? It's wow. like, yeah, don't judge a book by its cover. Cause like I said, we God, can't. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is most of us do. I was like, Oh, well they don't know anything. It's like, who right. Like, the information that flows through me, I'm amazed when I read it. I'm like, wow. I am too. I'm the same way. <laughs> I'm like, did I write that? <laughs> exactly. I mean, I wrote five books that way. Like, I don't, I go into this like amazing state where I'm not using my mind. I'm just feeling the essence of the energy moving through me. And that's more of the natural way to live. Yeah, it is. Tell us about your books. Oh, I have. What's your favorite? <laughs> my favorite. The one that I posted, like, Awakening to Unconditional Love, Transformation. Wow. Me. Yeah. That's what, yeah. That got my attention too, because Awakening, you know, because I'm yeah. all about Awakening, right? The name of the show is Awakening with Continue Awakening. Love. So. <laughs> exactly. So you resonated perfectly with that one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one's my favorite because there's a lot, for what I do, um, I channel the energy, but I do it in a unique way that my spirit guides gave to me that no one else does. Like it's, it's this, I use my left hand and it comes through exactly the way the message is, but it's long, long way. So I've done millions of processes this way with clients and with myself, my own healing. So when I was doing it one day, a spirit's like, why don't you put it into book form? I'm like, okay, cool. I had like thousands <laughs> of writings. So I went through the writings that I thought maybe people could resonate with. So, wow. so each page is a, is a unique like writing in itself. And um, how I use it, I still use it. Like, I'm like, okay, Spirit, give me a message. So I just open it to whatever page. I'm like, wow, this is so cool. I'm like, I, I know, don't you love it? It's like, wow, <laughs> I did that with, with Spirit, and the help of Spirit. Yeah, and imagine if we could all live this way, because we really have the ability to do that. We're just, we're just right. not taught to that we're too much in our heads, we're too much in our conditioning. And once we start to clear that, it's amazing how connected we are to our truth. Absolutely. That is so true. So what's the name of your other four books? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, falling in love with yourself, aligning with your natural state of being, mm -hmm. um, poetic healing, uh, poetic journey into peace and love, living in heaven and earth, just like the angels above. Um, mm -hmm. Rampages of love, which is taken off of Abraham Hicks rampages. Yeah. So I created um, different rampages, say for instance, you want to lose weight. So you read that rampage every day, say for at least 30 days, and all of a sudden your subconscious mind is already responding to the suggestions that you're giving and you're just kind of automatically doing these behaviors. It's kind of cool. I mean, that's what hypnosis is about. You know, it's like taking them into that, that, that state and feeding them suggestions. So these rampages, they lift your vibration. They're all about love. So when we're in that loving vibration, our vibration's higher, obviously, and more, Absolutely. more open. So all these are pretty much hypnotic suggestions kind of feeding to you. So if you read it every day, guess what? You'll start to live in that way. Oh yeah, it's real. It's, I know it's real. Yeah. So that's my other book. Did I say all four or five? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. So let's talk about the love one, the one about self-love. I and mean, we were talking about that earlier before the show about uh, embracing our love, you know, loving on ourselves and honoring ourselves more. Yes, yes. I think that's so important. It's like we're taught self-love, but we're not really taught how to be with ourselves in loving ways. You know, we can mm -hmm. buy ourselves things, we could take care of ourselves, da, 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 and that's all the outer. But what happens when an issue arises? How do we deal with that? Most of us look for other people, but what if not other people aren't around? Right. So it's like, what do we do? You know, it's like, oh, well, we'll go eat or do drugs or whatever to numb that. But what if we mm. learn how to be with mm -hmm. ourselves in loving ways and just say, hey, I got this, you know, because it's really a little, the little child in us who never got that love. That's and, true. You know, we're upset. We're just regressed back to that state. And we're like, oh, my God, I don't know how to do it. And it's like, but what if we're taught to like, hey, you know what? I got this like a loving mother would do, you know, hold ourselves. Just say, I'm here with you. We don't need to change it. We don't need to even make it better. Yeah. Hey, I'm here with you. I got, and usually that's all, that's all any of us really want. We don't want people to tell us what to do. Right. We just want to say, Hey, you know what? I got this. I'm with you. you know? Right. Just have that self-support. Yeah. Just to acknowledge like, Hey, you know what? It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel, it's okay to feel anything you're feeling, you know, but we're yes. not 
I'm not taught that. And it would be nice if we all can get to that space where, hey, you know what? It's okay. And it's okay to express how I feel too, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Because we have to acknowledge how we feel, even if it's a negative exactly. vibration or a negative feeling, because we can, we'll know where we're at so that we can work on being where we want to be. Exactly. Acknowledging that because our feelings are guys are showing us, Hey, you know what, where you're thinking might be a little bit out of alignment. Where can I shift this? What needs healing? You know, it's like, there's so much more going on and we don't, we don't know how to be with that. So we'll never know what's going on inside of us and how we're creating our lives unless we stop and say, Hey, you know what, I'm going to take a couple of minutes or five minutes, whatever, you know, however long yeah. you have, you know, and be with this part of me and understand what it wants and needs and really really help myself heal you know yes we can't heal what we don't feel so. absolutely so tell us about your services and who like what type of client do you work with so my service so soul alignment coaching is is moving into kind of retrieving your soul should i say people call this soul retrieval inner trial work whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. so those are uh, clients who are really struggling with, with their lives and just wanting to understand what's going on and going deep within and healing those, those beliefs. Had, see, we all have core, core wounds that are running the show, and we're not aware of that. We're just responding and reacting in a certain way, but mm -hmm. it's usually from a core wound. So to go inside to that core wound and really understand what's going on and really integrating that into our lives and calling back the parts of us that we disowned. So we become more whole and more expansive and more free and more expressive. So that's what that is. And then spiritual mm -hmm. healing is, is, is pretty much the same thing. You know, we're working with, with our essence and, and moving into the loving and working with the beliefs and the concepts and stuff and, and moving towards that. And then intuitive healing is, is like doing readings for people. And, and, you know, I do it through poetry too. They, my clients will send me like one sentence. I'm just like, all I need is one sentence. I don't want to know what's going on or anything. Just <laughs> sentence and that's it you know yeah. and then it's amazing how the information just flows wow uh, yeah so um and then of course you know with with uh, the coaching i don't know if you call it coaching or whatever a lot of people want to call that today i just call it like hey once you're once you're really in tune with yourself let's work on what you want to create for yourself let's work on, on creating the life that you desire and doing the things that light your fire you know and yeah going, there, but building that foundation of love first because a lot of people are so in their heads thinking that they should be doing something instead of really moving into their hearts from what they truly love to do oh yeah that's so important so yeah very important <laughs> so if somebody was brand new to this you know say they did go through you know maybe they're feel like they're a misfit in their family and they, you know family think they're crazy or whether they're 12 years old or 112 like what advice would you give them like they know deep within them that they have a higher calling and they want to do things their way yeah you know maybe they're awakening maybe they're in tuned and maybe spirit or source is talking to them to mm -hmm. do something different like where how would they start well, you know, it's funny that you said that because the first thing <laughs> that came to me, when I, when I was doing my healing, that, mm -hmm. like, I'm like, what if everybody else is freaking crazy and I'm the same <laughs> one, you know? Right. And that totally, like, loosened everything. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm here to be me. Yeah. You know, I can't change. If people don't like me for me, I can't change that. What am I going to do? Go into every situation trying to be something I'm not. And that's how I disconnected from myself. You know, it's like, hey, you know what? It's okay for me to be me. It's okay for me to honor me. In fact, kids today are coming in so highly evolved. Yeah, they are. People don't know how to be around them, you know? Parents are trying to mold them into their li the little box of the human, and they're like, no, I'm here to change the world. <laughs> right, like, hell no, I ain't, I ain't doing what you want me to do. <laughs> exactly, and just like, if parents would just honor them, and more parents, I think, are waking up today and saying, hey, you know what, my kid has something powerful in them, and they're here to teach me, you know? Um, yes. So, I mean, the bottom line is like, hey, you know what? We're all we're all expressions of the divine, and we're all here to express in our unique way, and to really say, hey, you know what? My unique way is beautiful. And, Absolutely. 
and to really celebrate that and see that, you know, maybe it takes some clearing of beliefs and things like that to really get to that space. But that is the truth about each and every one of us, you know? Absolutely. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. So we're going to um, close, come to a close here. Is there any other, any other last thoughts you wanted to share? I just wanted to say thank you for having me on and thank you for all that you're doing. It's, it's you're amazing. It's really beautiful that you've stepped up and you're sharing your gifts and you're doing what you love and loving what you do and letting your light shine bright. I always love seeing your posts on Facebook. Too. It warms my heart. You wore my heart. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. Like attracts like, right? Of course. <laughs> of course. Vibration. High vibing beings. Yeah. High vibe. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. That's what it's about. Raising our vibration vibration of course and supporting each other along the way absolutely so <laughs> thanks again deborah for being a guest on awakening with katina love thank you so you're much welcome. you're welcome and thank you so much for tuning in to the awakening with katina love show namaste